Welcome back viewers, how do we find the green area? Now we'll start by labeling this figure as A, B, C, D, F. Now you can see the length A, C is the radius R and the length from A to B is the radius R. Now, what have you noted here? Triangle A, B, C is a right angle triangle and the length AC is the radius meaning it is equals to the length AB which is also a radius. So if the angle at vertex A is 90 degrees then it means the angle at vertex B and the angle at vertex C are shared equally because both of them are subtended by the radius R. So it means the remaining 90 degrees will be shared equally into 45 degrees 45 degrees. Again, if you see, this angle here at D is 90 degrees. So it means if it is 90 degrees and the angle at B is 45 degrees, then automatically the remaining angle here is also 45 degrees. So if you have two angles 45 degrees, 45 degrees, meaning this length 4 is the same as this length BD4. So if the length from D to B is 4, then the length from A to B is R, then it means the length from A to D is R minus 4. Now, if you look at triangle AFD, the triangle AFD is a right angle triangle at D. So that triangle AFD, and you can see the line from the center to the circumference from A to F is the radius R. Now, triangle ADF is a right angled triangle. So, if you use Pythagoras theorem, you can see A to F is the hypotenuse. So, hypotenuse squared, A to F squared is AD is AD squared plus F FD squared using the Pythagoras theorem. So, the length A to F is the radius R. So, that means R squared is equals to from A to D. From A to D, we found was R minus R minus 4. So, that is R minus 4 squared, then plus from F to D. F to D is 4 plus 4, that is 8. So, FD squared is 8 squared. So, if you open this bracket, remember this is R squared you get r squared is equals to r minus 4 squared. If you open that bracket, you get r squared minus 8r plus 16, then at the end there plus 8 squared. So what happens here? So what happens here? You see, r squared will will cancel out with r squared. This r squared on the left will cancel out with r squared on the right. So you will remain with 0 is equals to negative 8r plus 16 plus, remember 8 squared is 64. So negative 8r coming on the left hand side of the equation, you get 8r is equals to 16 plus 64. So there we end up with 8r is equals to 16 plus 64 is 80. So if you divide both sides by 8, then you will get 8 will go with 8, you remain with R to be equals to 80 divided by 8 is 10. So once you found the radius to be 10, now what is the area of the green of the green region? The area is a quarter circle, and you know the area of a circle is given as pi r squared, then divide by 4 because the green area is a quarter circle. So that is going to be our r of course we found is 10. So that is pi then our r is 10 squared over over 4. So what do you get there? So you'll get the area to be 10 squared is 100 that is 100 pi 100 pi over 4 which is equivalent to 25 pi units squared. So that is how to determine the area of the green region. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click on our next video on the end screen.